Nasema jambo Jambo bwana Habari gani Mzuri sana How many people know someone who has HIV He educated himself on AIDS and used the information to debunk myths about the dreaded disease but more than that, I went there and I started my own school for HIV and AIDS orphans and other privileged children who didn't have the opportunities, who didn't have the money to be able to attend school. Just another 11-year-old? Look again! This is the founder of an organization that helps thousands of girls in Afghanistan. When Elena learned that girls in Afghanistan do not go to school, she started raising money for teachers' salaries. And Free the Children came as an organization, was one of the first that said, even if you're young, you can make a difference. And suddenly, other groups around the world heard about what we were doing and wanted to start chapters. And we suddenly found a movement literally growing around us. Young people have always been at the forefront of every major movement for social change. When I was traveling in Southeast Asia, I met Iqbal's mother and asked her about her son. And she described how when Iqbal was killed at the age of 12, his body was carried through the streets in Pakistan. And as he was being laid in his grave, this young girl who he helped to free stood over his grave and said, the day that Iqbal died, a thousand new Iqbals were born. I think, in fact, more than a million new Iqbals were born. 